Hey Freedom Gorillas, so we're going to take a look at the Canik TP9 Elite SC. We're going to take a look at all the Holosuns that will install on it, as well as their ability to co-witness. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when I say the co-witness ability, all I'm talking about is when an optic is installed, how much of the front iron sight you're able to see through that optic in case of any optic failures, that way you're still able to use the iron sights to aim. Now, one thing I do want to mention with the Canik TP9 Elite SC, when you take off the plate at the back to install the optic, you could theoretically just install it. It is a direct footprint, but there is no front rear lugs where the holes would go to keep this steady, which means all of the tension would be placed on two M3 screws, which I'm not a huge fan of. So in that case, we have calculated kinetics plate and it's a really thin plate. It'll go on here and it covers up the whole space. That way nothing moves and everything is solid. So we're gonna use this plate to show the co-witnessing. And there you have it. There's everything that'll fit on a Canik TP9 Elite SC. Now again, we did use the calculated kinetics plate for that and everything was able to co-witness, which is absolutely fantastic. Everything on today's video can be found at freedomgorilla.com. And as always, thanks for watching.